Hi everyone, this is Sherry. Welcome back. Um, as I told you, I have a bonus video today for the SNL design team. And this uh, week we are doing the Saturday stash dive based on stamps. And I have my uh, main video that I posted. You probably saw it. This is actually a bonus video that I wanted to record because um, right now planners are a huge thing going on. Um, a lot of people are just uh, really into planners and calendars and planning your schedules. And I wanted to share a little bit since we're on stamps this week, how you can actually really utilize your stamps that maybe you have set aside for scrapbooking or project life. You can really utilize a lot of those in your planner. Since I am a planner buff, I've been using a planner for many years. Um, I've always loved using just a paper calendar. I've never really been into the electronic calendars because I'm more of a uh, paper person. I like to actually write everything out and um, I just love being able to thumb through a planner and see what's in there. So um, I was, I'm really excited that it's such a huge thing right now and uh, they're becoming so popular because there's lots of fun uh, different ways to um, utilize your planner and make them pretty. But one thing I did want to talk about was stamps. Like I said, since we are on stamps this week, um, I have some stamps here that I actually received as part of a, and this is just I just pulled out a few. I, I can't show all of them that I have, but like this was actually a scrapbooking stamp that I got from Studio Calico and it's for scrapbooking cards. Um, these came in a project or came uh, from Citrus Twist Kit Club, which is um, from uh, Scrapbooking Kit Club. And I think they're kind of more driven for project life. And uh, it's got the days of the week, arrows, um, arrows, take note. Um, and these are from Glitz Design, which you know is a scrapbooking company, and has some really cute um, designs on the stamps. And I've had these for probably two years, and I had never even used them. And they're really cute. They're kind of like a foam stamp. And I thought how cute they are. Um, and so I kind of went diving in my stash um, looking for something to use on some pages that I have in my planner. I have these daily pages that I print out. Now, let me just tell you first, this is my planner. This is one of my planners. I have several. This is my absolute favorite. This is my Kate Spade uh, in a bright yellow. And um, <clears throat> it's my absolute favorite planner. I love it. I love how cute it is and how durable it is um, but this is my absolute favorite one um, but what I do is at, right now I'm using the Webster's inserts uh, from Webster's pages and I really like those because they're really pretty and colorful and they have the pretty tabs which actually I ended up changing because what the wording was on the tabs didn't work for me and uh, so I wanted to personalize it so um, this is my planner now I, like I said, I have several planners, and what I do is, um, this is another one I have just sitting by me. This is a macaroon planner from Franklin Covey, and this is one of my newest ones. I have several more. I have some uh, different colors. What I like to do, I do have a red Kate Spade also, like this in red. I like to change them out. Um, I'm kind of like that. I will use a different one every few days. <clears throat> change it like you would purse, a purse or a bag or shoes. And uh, for me, it's kind of like a fashion accessory. Um, but my, my, what I call my guts, my inside of my planner always stays the same. So I'll just take everything out and put it in a new, in a new planner. So right now, this is my um, Webster's Pages calendar. And um, I have my, um, I have the, the weekly calendar that I use, which is a, a week spread. But then for me, what I found is I needed something daily because this I just keep like my basic stuff in. And the way my work schedule is, um, I actually, I work at home, but my work schedule can be very flexible. In other words, I am scheduled eight hours, but just to give you a quick overview, the way my work job, my job works, we um, can trade shifts and we can, um, give up hours and pick up hours and so my schedule because I'm not one to just sit and work for eight hours straight I kind of get bored with it so I switch up a lot and so my schedule can change I can work for three hours be off for two work another two be off you know or maybe work two hours one day and then work 10 hours and then another day which I very rarely ever, ever do <laughs> anyway um so I needed something that I could track daily my daily activities hour by hour so that I could look at a glance and go oh, okay this is what I'm doing I'm working so even though I have my weekly 
I'm getting into planning more than I am stamps, but I'll get there in a second. Um, even though I have my weekly, I needed something daily that I could track. And so that's where I found these great little um, daily printouts uh, that you can actually print at home and cut yourself. And um, it's from BritSwiderski.com. And I can't remember if these were free. If they were not free, they were very inexpensive. And they're perfect for me because they go from 12 a.m. to 12 midnight, which is perfect for me because typically I work from 5 a.m. to 1.30. But like I said, my schedule can vary. So if I want to give up a, a, an hour, I can pick up a shift at 2 a.m. if I want to do. Not that I ever want to do that. But what I do love is it gives me that 24-hour period that I can schedule. So they do come blank. And you can see here, they come with just the date, and so you have to handwrite them in. Well, I like to just make it a little bit more pretty. So what I was doing, I was like, I, didn't, I need a Monday through Saturday stamp. Um, so what I do on this particular one is, I, you can see here, I stamp the date with just a date roller. And I'm using the Heidi Swap date roller here. And then I like to have the date because um, I like to identify, okay, that's a Friday, that's a Saturday, that's a, you know, it, it quickly identifies that date for me. So I was like, I need a Friday, you know, Sunday through Saturday stamp set. And I even posted on one of the groups. I said, where can I find a, Friday, a, a day of the week date stamp and, or, or a stamp? And um, people were giving me ideas. And I was like, wait a minute. I have so many stamps. I'm sure I have one. And I did find one. This is, like I said, from Citrus Quit Twist Club. And Monday through Sunday, right there, I found these in my stash. Monday through Sunday and even today. So what I was able to do is not only use my roller date, but then I was able to use the day of the week. This is the one from Glitz, which I do really like because I can stamp it in different colors. And you see here. And then this is the one that I used from Citrus Twist. And that's kind of um, light. Um, but you can see, I can see at a glance here on these pages what day it is. So, you know, it's they're scrapbooking stamps, but I'm able to utilize them for my planner. Another thing, um, like for example, this is a birthday stamp that I got from Studio Calico. And what I can do is use like the cupcake. Let's for example go, where's this week? Let's go here. This week was my nephew's birthday. So I just stamped a cupcake and wrote his name next to it. It's just a cute way. Now is it a necessity? No. But you know what? You gotta have cute stuff or it's no fun, right? Um, here's the, there's also an arrow in one of the Citrus Twist, I can't say that today, <laughs> Citrus Twist Kit Club, or um, stamp, uh, stamp Sets, I'm sorry, I'm getting tongue tied, um, and an arrow. And so what I've done here is I've just made a little arrow just so it stands out to me, lunch. Um, I also found these cute little sticky notes, aren't those adorable? Cute little sticky notes, they're by, um, I think Little Bee, and I found them at Hobby Lobby. Um, but what I did is I just have that in my planner and I used a take note stamp from Citrus Twist as well and uh, stamped that on the little sticky note. And so that is kind of just a little bit, just a brief overview of how I use some of my stamps, maybe for Project Life or for um, scrapbooking to kind of just help in my planner. Um, you can make it really fun and cute by you know, using different colors of ink. Um, you know, you can make your own little notes um, like I have here in my list section. Again, I just stamp the take note here so I can just have uh, little notes. You can make a task list, you know, um, in your planner. Use a different sheet maybe for each day and stamp the day of the week at the top. Um, you can even do something really cute just as a decorative little thing um, using something like this. These are all over in stamp clubs and um, scrapbooking kits um, with photos and Project Live. So um, I hope that just gives you a little bit of ideas on how to maybe use your stamps for more than just scrapbooking or just Project Life. A lot of the Project Life kits are great for planners. Uh, Project Life stamps, excuse me, are great for planners. So hopefully um, that just gives you a little bit more of an idea of how to use the stamps and maybe get a little bit more enjoyment out of them. And I hope you've enjoyed this little bonus video. And again, I want to thank you so much for walking, watching today. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you're into planning, if you want to see more videos on planners or um, how to use some scrapbooking supplies in planners, because I do use a lot of scrapbooking supplies in my planner as well. 
um, but I'd love to hear feedback from you. So, okay. So again, this is for the SNL design team and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.